You know, over the time that I've been doing videos, I've done a lot of videos on RFID kits. I've done a lot of remote systems, keyless entry systems, remote start systems. Um, I've even just, if you noticed that I did a remote keyless entry with a keypad on the outside of my office here, right here where I work every day, and that was pretty well received. That thing's got a lot of views and people obviously are very interested in it. So when I got a return from a customer today, I looked at it and says, hmm, I said, maybe I should consider making a video about this because obviously people like them. What I have here today, it's a kit made by a company named Essex, and I'll show you a quick shot of what I did in my previous video. And basically what that one is, or what it was about, was um, when you come up to your door, you have a mag lock or a magnetic lock that, you know, a solicitor comes up to your door and you go, ha, because they can't open the door. Um, and it was a little keypad, looks something like this, you know, just more of a business commercial type of dealie. But this one here, I'm sure you all seen, these are the kinds that go on the door, the outside door or a driver door of a vehicle. So that way you can actually lock or unlock the vehicle, turn on the dome lights. But this one takes it a step further. This kit actually will allow you to do multiple output channels. So you can have interior dome lights, you can have output channels, so you can con control doors, factory alarm, disarm, trunk pop, gas fuel door opening, sunroof, anything, anything that, that works off your remote keyless entry system, sliding doors, you name it, this thing can do it. So it's really, um, it's amazing that nobody has ever really talked about this. The only video I could actually find on YouTube was from a kit made, gosh, on years ago. It's like archaic. And I'll show you a little shot of what they, they have going on because they're like the really only game in town when it comes to creating systems like this. Also, I think that people who have RVs, motorhomes, fifth wheels, anything like that, a re recreational vehicle or just a big motorhome, they're the kind of people that typically go for this kind of deal or older people. No pun intended. I mean, listen, we all get old, right? Um, old people typically like these things. So what I want to do is I want to go over how this thing works, how it installs, and all the features that these kits can provide to you if you're interested in maybe possibly adding one of these kits to a vehicle of your own. So all these kits are comprised of is your main waterproof housing, which you can see it's all treated PCBs, all aluminum, pretty well watertight with a cosmetic cover. So the way this thing works is that you have to drill seven holes. You have two for the screws, five for the buttons. Once you do that, you, from the back of the door panel, you would take this, push it in, and you would take this and cover it from the front, and that gives you like a nice vanity front plate, and it looks something like that. And they do include the screws and stuff like that you need for it. A programming switch so you can set your own custom code. But here's the magic, at least I think. I think it's cool. Whether you think it's cool, we'll see, right? Like I was saying, there's your template, your holes, your hardware. Pretty straightforward. But here's what I like about this kit. I like all this stuff. See, above this dotted line is the required connections. Power ground, programming switch, which is that. Um, you have your lock and unlock output. Bare bones, that's what this kit is all about. Down here in the second half, that's where it gets a little bit more cool. Okay? And I'm going to show you by first I'm going to wire this thing up and show you what it looks like when it's on. So there's your power. So when you tap a button, it's going to look kind of like that. It's pretty cool looking, right? This is the blue one. It comes in, some of them come in clear, some of them come in blue. But when you come up to your vehicle, you hit a button, there you go. By default, it's 1357. That's your lock code, which you can change. So if you're working with a kit currently and you need to change your code, that's pretty much how that works. It's 13579. 13579. That's your default code. And there's your two-sided tape on the back of there. And that's your completed installation job right there. Lights on. Lights half on, lights out. So here's what I like. Let me show you. That's what we do here, right? We do wiring stuff. We do man's manly stuff. Let's do some manly stuff. Okay. So here you got lock, unlock, orange and white. And I'm going to show you. Okay, so. I'm going to hit my code and I'm going to have this on the orange is what we want to test here. 
So that means beep, beep, beep. Okay, lock. Lock on here is orange. Orange is here. So we do that. Then we go beep, beep, beep. So the way you want this to work is you want to program a code that's going to throw your output, ground output. So on these systems, there's so many options of what you can do. Just check this out. Lock and unlock, which is channel 1 and 2. Then you have auxiliary, 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 plus you have a dome light output. So you have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 outputs on this little control panel. That's pretty sweet. And then you can just connect it. If it's a high current output with a, an optional single pole relay, which they're using here, or a single pole double throw relay for a trunk, sunroof, gas door, roll up windows, roll down windows, a uh, tonneau cover, electrical, uh, t tonneau cover, whatever you might have in your vehicle, this thing can access it simply by just installing this basic little system. I think that that's pretty damn cool. So not only does it look nice, it's got a little audible component to it as well. Lots of features programmable, so it's very secure. I mean, no one has to know what your codes are, but you could have generic codes, so that way some people can have codes to do your unlock, but not all the other functionality. So if you wanted to keep your, your cap on your truck locked for your own purposes and have a second layer of security through the programming switch, you could have it so anybody can get into your truck and get what they need out of the front. For instance, if you have workers that work in your vehicle and share your, this thing would be pretty sweet. I think it's neat and worthy of anybody who can maybe benefit from having one of these kits, but I think it's pretty neat. And you don't see a lot of stuff like this out here these days that can do so much for so little. Very small in size. You can clearly see, pretty straightforward installation. I mean, you know, once you have your your four your, your five holes drilled and the two for the screws, put this in the back side of the door. So obviously you'd have to be pretty pretty good with steady hands. Drill that sucker in there. Take the two supplied screws. Put this into your door, which would be here, right? Put your screws in from the front, like sandwich it in there, so it's nice and tight. Get yourself some rust inhibitor, which would definitely benefit. The longevity of your vehicle's metal on your doors. You got yourself a nice little, nice little toy. Beep beep. Video over.